This is a story straight from the courtroom about how one sentence can change the direction of the entire case and lose the entire case, all because of one tiny little detail. So welcome back, I'm the Black Belt Barrister, helping you to understand law and this time bringing you a story. Now obviously I can't give you any personal details, I have a duty of confidentiality, but without breaching any of that, I can tell you the story about what happened. This was a fairly typical road traffic collision where one person was going down a road and turned left at an island, and another person was going across that road and they collided as they were both traveling in their respective directions. Now, my client was the one going across the road rather than the one having turned left at the roundabout. One of our arguments was that the driver coming off the roundabout was doing so at some great speed. And since the driver was in the outside lane, this made for a reasonably compelling argument. Now, my client's case, who was crossing the road in his vehicle, some 200 yards or so away from the roundabout, had looked in both directions, it was a dual carriageway, but nonetheless had had a good look around and began crossing the road, believing that there was no danger whatsoever. From my client's perspective, this car came out of nowhere and they collided in the middle of the outside lane. Now the insurance company of the other driver coming off the roundabout was the one that made the claim against my client. But all seemed to be going reasonably well during the trial, but for one small phrase that my client said, during cross-examination that flipped this all around. During cross-examination, he was pressed at to what level of attention he had placed on the road after he'd set off from his entry point to the road. And the way he put it was to the effect that once he'd left his entry point to the road, he didn't look back again for a second glance whilst he was crossing over that road. This was enough to lead the judge to believe that had he done so, he might have applied the brakes and the collision may not have happened. Now, you may or may not realize that a barrister cannot coach a witness. We cannot make evidence up. All we can do is press and question our client as to what really happened, and then use that evidence, use that account and to advise a client on the strength of their claim or defense, and then put that claim or defense at its highest in court in accordance with the rules. But in this particular case, although the trial was going very well up to that point, that one sentence and literally one phrase and one look or lack thereof cost this client the case. And this is why it is so important to be absolutely thorough with your lawyer and with your barrister to make sure he or she knows everything that happened, everything that went through your mind, everything that might be useful, and anything that might go against you. And so even some cases that can be absolutely clear cut can simply turn on one tiny detail and one tiny phrase. Because the burden of proof in the civil courts is on the balance of probabilities, not beyond some reasonable doubt. So it only has to be more likely than not for the judge to make a finding of fact. I hope you enjoyed this story. Please share it with someone you think might find it useful. And remember to subscribe, and thanks for watching.